Hi everybody, it's Shanna with Shanna Sweets. I want to bring to you a card today using Mary Moose and the um, design, I guess, what are they called? Basic Pattern Decorative Mask. So I made a video using these masks last week. Did not realize till after I was editing the video that that stamp set was retired. I'm so sorry, I just didn't even realize it. So it happens when you don't clean your stash well enough. So I wanted, I was doing that card for a challenge that of course I could not use um, after I realized it. So I thought, what the heck, this will give me a chance to use more of that embossing paste. So I'm using this Mary Moose, which actually did come out last year, but they brought it back. So it is in the new August to December catalog, this one here. And it is on page 27. This was a very popular set. It was on back order a lot last year, but it is not. And it is Mary Moose. It says returning fave. I actually won this stamp set at a gathering last year. So it was in my um, Christmas stuff. I don't have the punch though. The punch is a returning favorite and I don't happen to have the punch, but you can easily trim it out um, it's a very simple stamp set, and um, I actually have a scan and cut. So when I was making this card, I just stamped out a whole bunch of mooses and the um, trees, and I just ran them through my scan and cut. So I cheated. So sorry, but I did. And the embossing paste and the pattern um, things are on page 146 in the new catalog down here and you can even get the little tools for the embossing paste on that same page so and people say you and I do even though I have a scan and cut I still buy a bunch of the dies um, there's just a selects you know there still are a bunch of stamps that like um, I'm gonna show you here Here's my extras. Um, these are the mousses that I, I'm gonna show you how I stamped out the mousses though, just so you can see um, how I did that. But like I did cut the trees, you could see I cut out the trees and the scarves and even the little, um, I'm using a hat. I thought I had a couple hats, but I do have a hat um, out that I stamped out too. So there are still a bunch of things that I um, use my scan and cut for because not all the stamps have punches or dies. And even the ones with dies, um, there's still lots of stamp sets that they have additional dies, just not the images that I still buy the dies for. So, um, and if you don't know what a scan and cut is, you can Google that and see. It's from Brother and it lets you just scan the images by themselves without a computer. Um, their silhouette does do scanning and Cricut does do scanning, but you have to use a computer. A brother scan and cut is independent and you don't have to use a scanner, I mean a computer, and that's why I chose that one over um, other machines. So, and there's people who do tutorials. Um, Tara Miller is awesome about doing um, tutorials on how to use a scan and cut. So, Okay, I got my little mat here, and I'm going to um, use Thick Whisper White. And let me pull this out real quick. And I'm using a 5x5 five five, um, with Thick Whisper White. And I'm going to put that down, put my mask Take a couple pieces um, of duct tape and just tape my mask down. And then take my embossing paste. Not sure why that's stuck. Just grab a couple big gallops here. Now this one isn't as finicky as the trees that I used the last time. Um, I still try to go up and down and not all over the place just so that I don't get gallops underneath um, 
the holes. I'm using just the dotted holes this time where the trees um, I felt like was a little bit more delicate um, about getting up underneath the mask. This one I don't feel is as fragile. But you still don't want to just be crazy and um, all over. So I do want to give it a few minutes to dry. Um, and however thick you want it. I feel like I'm laying this one on a little thicker. So I'm just kind of just trying to make it even though. Then I'm going to take my tape very gingerly and pull that up. And then I'll be back. Um, I'm going to go rinse off my stencil. Okay, I'm going to show you how to outline this mousse. Or how to color the mousse, excuse me. Um, you have to stamp the outline of the mousse first in Memento Black. And then you have to um, do your shadow. I tried to do it the other way and it was really difficult. And you have to really line this up and I really, it's very difficult. So I'll try to zoom in here, but you really have to, um, I'll zoom it, yeah. But it's still a tiny bit outside, but you really kind of have to get really close to do it. And then the stamps for the trees, um, they're just, I did that and I did the dark, the bigger trees in Mossy Meadow and the small tree in Pear Pizzazz so that we can layer it. So let's go ahead and put the card together. Oh, let's stamp the um, sentiment. I cut out this label out of um, the have uh, pick a hoot dies. Um, these come together. I did cut my dies with some Tim Holtz shears so that I could have three sets of dies. And then I cut that out of crumb cake. And then we're going to um, use the soft suede ink and put Merry Christmas right in the center of that. Okay, and I'm going to take a piece of twine. Trim that. And that's going to go on our We're going to take a piece of Whisper White that is, five, I'm using thick Whisper White, and it is five and a half by 11, and I've scored it at five and a half. Then I have a piece of five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And um, 
before I tape that down, we're going to put, I'm going to put some snail because I don't want to um, put a lot of pressure on my uh, embossed piece. I'm going to put the snail directly down on um, just taking some the embossing off the side there. So I'm going to layer my embossed piece I'll take my pokey tool and just press it down on the actual paper. Then I got a piece of DSP that is from the Poinsettia Place Designer Series paper that I've cut out with the largest circle. And I'm going to take some of my Stampin' Seal Plus just so that it sticks easier. And I'm going to take some wet glue on the back of one of my largest tree here. Alright, so I want this to go on the corner so I'm going to find the corner there and I'm going to hide my tree like that okay and then this is going to I'm going to apply some pressure now that I know where that's all going. I can apply pressure and I don't care about my dots behind it, so I'm applying pressure. Then I'm going to flip this over and trim. Then I can put tape, snail, down, and this is going to go on the front of my card base. I'm just not wanting to put pressure on my dots because it's still a little soft from the embossing paste. And I feel like my corner is sticking up up here, so I'm going to add a glue dot over here. And that will adhere that corner down. Now I'm going to take a this is going to go there. I'm going to take couple I can figure out where exactly I want this one and then I can tuck this with some glue dots
Okay. Then, of course, our moose. He needs some Stampin' Dimensionals. Right there in the corner. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this card and the tips for the embossing paste and the little moose went along with it. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I hope you enjoy the Christmas card series that you see this time. Please like my video on Facebook and give me a thumbs up here on YouTube. Thank you so much. Bye.